welcome everyone to the session of real numbers lcm and hcf yeah first we focus on real numbers right uh, if you are just looking at before we start anything here let us go back to our basics that is looking at the classification of numbers from our earlier classes we know that numbers are classified into different types like natural numbers whole numbers so on in that way and let us start with them and we further we move on to different types of numbers then we move on to the problems based on these things yeah what are natural numbers all counting numbers are called as natural numbers we know from school days right from our earlier classes so if you are just looking at all countable numbers so if you are just looking at can we say how many rooms i mean how many rooms are there in your house becomes a part of natural number we can say it may be two rooms three rooms in that way if it is something like how many boys are there in a class how many girls are there in a class obviously these are all natural numbers will be having right so natural numbers basically start from 1 and 2 3 so on these are all countable things that we can say so they will be extended up to infinity right and if you are looking at the next classification whole numbers right if you are including zero to the set of natural numbers whatever be the set that will be getting we consider that as whole number set already 1 2 3 4 so on up to infinity are natural numbers we know if you are including zero it becomes set of whole numbers so 0 1 2 3 so on up to infinity are i mean is nothing but the set of whole numbers we can say and if you are looking at the next one integers right integers we can say that basically they are represented by z yeah what we can say about integers means we can say that they are basically positives already if you are looking at whole numbers they include 0 1 2 3 so on up to infinity in that way if you are considering the negatives of them like if you are considering for zero and negatives again zero only but if you are looking at my one for one the negative will be minus 1 for two it will be minus 2 in that way so the set of whole numbers including zero and the negative numbers i mean negatives of those whole numbers is basically set of integers we can say or in other words we can start from in natural numbers if you are looking at the positives and the negatives of in natural numbers including zero is nothing but set of integers we can say so if you are starting if you are looking at the classification they start from minus infinity and we can extend them from minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 so on up to again up to infinity we can say these are all nothing but integers and integers if you are looking at there are one or two important points that we should know like product of two positive numbers if you are looking at product of two positive integers is always positive only we can say like if you are looking at plus 2 into plus 3 it will become plus 6 we can say that is definitely positive in the product is positive only we can say product of two negative integers also if you are considering what we can say is basically that will be always again positive something like minus 2 into minus 5 if you are considering minus into minus will become plus 2 into 5 will be 10 so what we can say minus 2 into minus 5 will be plus 10 will be having but if you are looking at product of a positive integer positive integer with a negative integer negative integer will become is always negative we can say like 2 into minus 3 if you are considering 2 into 3 will be 6 plus uh, plus into minus will be minus we know so that means what we can say it will become minus 6 so in that way product of a positive and a negative integer is equal is always a negative integer we can say so these are the points that one should know about product of integers then if you are looking at one more important classification it's rational numbers we have right all of us know that numbers in the form of p by q where q is not equal to 0 are nothing but rational numbers will be considering and they are represented by the set q and before we move on to this one if you are just observing carefully <coughs> set of whole numbers is already including set of integers so that means what we can say is as already natural numbers are included in whole number set natural number set is a part of whole number set or not so if you are looking at our classification of numbers according to the sets what we can say is they are basically i mean natural number set is a subset of whole number set we can say and whole numbers is again a subset of 
integers we can say. So, n is a subset of w, w is a subset of integers that is one point that we can say and now we focus on this rational numbers. Numbers in the form of p by q with q is not equal to 0 all such numbers we consider them as rational, rational numbers. So, if you are just looking at the point they should be in the form of p by q with q is not equal to 0. Like if you are considering 2 by 3, if I just look at the examples for this one, what we can say is they are actually if you are looking at the setwise representation they are extended from minus infinity to plus infinity we can say and if you are looking at the specific examples like 2 by 3 is in the form of p by q with q is not equal to 0, obviously it should be an irrational number we can say. If you are looking at something like phi, what we can say phi is in the form of phi by 1, obviously again it is in the form of p by q not equal with q is not equal to 0. If you are looking at minus 6 again is in the form of p by q with q is not equal to 6. Something like 22 by 7 is in the form of p by q with q is not equal to 0. So, all these are basically different examples for real numbers I mean rational numbers and before we focus on the next category there are some more important points that one should know about rational numbers. First we focus on them then we move on to irrational numbers. Natural number set is a subset of whole numbers and whole number set is a subset of integers and integers is a subset of rational numbers we can say and rational numbers if you are looking at the numbers in the form of p by q with q is not equal to 0 we know them or we consider them as rational numbers right they can be expressed into two different forms if you are looking at as a if you are converting the fractional form into a decimal form. The, what are the two possibilities that we will be having means it may be it may be a terminating decimal or it may be a recurring or repeating decimal we can say recurring decimal ok non terminating recurring decimal or repeating decimal will be considering that as yeah. So, what do we understand from terminating decimal? If you are considering the division process of a particular fraction and if you are not left with any remainder of some finite number of steps, we consider that as a terminating decimal. Something like if you are looking at 1 by 4, 1 if you are dividing with 4, what we can say is 1 is not going, so if I put point here, it will become 10 and 4 in 10 will be going 2 times. So, that means what we can say 8 is 4 to 8 means we will be left out with 2. Again, if you are putting 0 here, this will be going 5 times. So, 2 5s, I mean 4 5s, 20. So, that means we are left with 0. So, that means what we can say? We are getting remainder as 0 or not. That is what indication of a terminating decimal we can say, right? So, if it is having some finite number, that means basically if you are observing carefully, terminating or termination indicates the end. So, if you are considering that as a terminating decimal means it has some end. If you are not having any end we can and if you are having some repetition we call that as repeating decimal or recurring decimal in that way. So, what we can say here after finite number of decimals it ends basically right decimals this ends the number ends basically like examples if you are looking at 1 by 4 just now we have observed even 1 by 2 is also a recurring decimal because 1 by 2 if you are considering 1 if you are dividing with 2 as 2 is not going so what we can say if you put point it will become 10 10 in will be in 2 will be going 5 times so what we can say 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 5 3 by 5 these are all basically terminating decimals we can say examples and if we have a repeating part and such a repeating part if you are having continuously then we call it as basically recurring decimal like if you are considering 1 by 3 1 if you are dividing with 3 point if you put 10 it will become 3 will be 9 and again 1 will be having taking 0 again it goes 3 times 9 again 1 putting 0 what we can say considering that way it will be going on continuously there is no end for that one. So, such a decimal we consider as, as consider that one as a recurring decimal right. So, if you are having non terminating recurring decimal we will be considering the I mean if you are having that repetition part we consider that as recurring decimal and example if you are looking at something like 1 by 3, 2 by 5, 2 by 7 then 4 by 9 these are all basically examples for recurring decimals we can say and we may be having a problem based on how to convert a decimal value into a fraction. Now, we are looking at basically 
converting decimal fraction numbers into decimals but there may be the other way the problems are possible like converting that decimals into fractions and if you are just looking at a small example when we have terminating decimals there will not be any problem of converting them into what we can say into I mean fractions we can say because if you are looking at something like 0.4 what we can say it is basically multiplying and dividing by 10 it will become 4 by 10 we will be having 2 by 5 we can say that is not a problem but when we have recurring decimals when we have the uniform repetition is occurring there then we will be having some procedure for understanding how we can convert them into fractions suppose if you are looking at the same thing example like 0.3 bar 0.3 bar just now we have observed is basically 1 by 3 right or not and as we know that one we have come simply considered but if it is something like 0.4 bar we have how to convert that into a fraction let us understand that one suppose if we have that 0.4 bar is given so 0.4 bar indicates bar indicates that that is repeating and if we are having 0.4 bar we call it as I mean consider it as 0 0.444 0 0.4444 that 4 uniformly continuously occurring there to convert that into a fraction what we need to do is let that be equal to some x let x is equal to 0 0.4444 so on in that way multiply with 10 on both sides then we will be having 10x is equal to 4.4444 so on in that way we will be having and if you are subtracting that x from 10x so 10x minus x 9x will be having and right hand side if you are looking at 4.4444 so on minus 0.4444 so on in that way we will be left out with is that nothing but 4444 4, 4, 4, if you are cancelling all of them will be left out with here 4 minus 0 4 and what we can say about the other part means 4.0000000 for infinite times will be having so 4.0000 for infinite times is as good as 4 only or not so that means what we can say 9x is equal to 4 will be having or in other words what we can say is x is equal to 4 by 9 will be having so when we have it as 0.4 bar what is the fractional value that we are having 4 by 9 instead of having 0.4 bar suppose if you have 0.5 bar will there be any change in the process means the process is the same what we can say 0.4 bar, bar will become 0.55555 let that be equal to some x 10x is equal to 5.5555 so on in that way subtraction will be giving us 9x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 by 9 so that means what we can say if it is 0 0.4 bar 4 by 9 we are having if it is 0 0.5 bar 5 by 9 0 0.7 bar 7 by 9 so in that way we can convert those recurring decimals into fractions and if it is 0 0.5 bar basically 5 by 9 that bar indicates basically the repetition part if it is 0 0.23 bar basically what we understand is 23 I mean 2 3 2 3 2 3 2 3 that is occurring infinitely so the fractional value we will get that one little later if it is 0 0.2323 2 3, so on in that way suppose if you are considering 0 0.374 bar that indicates 374 374 is repeating continuously so 0 0.374 374 so on in that way.